Hey, what's up everyone? Adam here. Um, decided to create a tutorial for people who don't know how to use uh, MetaMask with PancakeSwap. Uh, you need uh, a wallet such as MetaMask or Trust Wallet um, in order to um, trade on PancakeSwap and trade on the Binance Smart Chain. Um, so for those of you who aren't familiar with MetaMask, uh, aren't familiar with PancakeSwap, or just getting into crypto, um, getting into decentralized exchange and trading on it, uh, this tutorial is for you. We're going to go over step by step on how to create a MetaMask wallet, how to um, connect it to our PancakeSwap, and then how to trade the token that we're looking to trade. So uh, first thing you need is MetaMask, and that's going to be found on the Chrome extension store. If you just search for MetaMask, um, it, you know this will come up. Uh, I'll drop the link if uh, uh, for your convenience at the description of the video. Um, so once you have MetaMask, just click Add to Chrome. It'll add it to your extensions over here. Uh, if you don't see it up in your extensions, just click this little puzzle icon and uh, just pin it. Just click the blue pin. You see some of them are, are, are hollow. Just pin it so it's blue. Um, and once that happens, you'll then see your MetaMask pop up. So clicking on the MetaMask icon, you're not going to see this off the bat. Obviously, you don't. Um, you have nothing in your wallet. This is going to be brand new for you. What you're going to end up doing is setting up a password. And in addition to that, MetaMask will ask you to back up your seed phrase. They will give you a seed phrase for setup and you will need to back the seed phrase up. The seed phrase is very important for you to keep secure. You need to write it down on a piece of paper. You need to put it somewhere safe. You cannot lose it because if you lose it, you will never have access to your wallet again. If your computer res resets, if you lose your data, whatever happens, you get robbed. You can't, you, you can't get it back into your account without your seed phrase. So that, that like save it somewhere, store it safe, take care of it. So once you've done that, you got your seed phrase. The first thing you're going to see here is Ethereum. As a matter of fact, it might look something like this. Um, well, you'll see your ETH. Obviously, you won't have anything. It's going to say zero for you. Um, you want to get set up on Binance Smart Chain because you want to start trading on PancakeSwap. And you can't do that on the Ethereum network. Um, this is the Ethereum mainnet. You can't trade Ethereum on Binance Smart Chain. So what you're going to end up doing is going to the top over here for the Ethereum mainnet. You're just going to click on it. You have networks over here. We're going to go all the way to the bottom and click Custom RPC. So here's where we're going to be able to add the Binance Smart Chain for this wallet to pick up our uh, BNB assets, right? We need to fill out all this information, um, just five fields, and uh, we're going to fill it out with these uh, values right here. So going back over here, um, let me cancel this, go back into custom RPC, and we see that you know we have network name, you know RPC URL, chain ID, everything is here. We're going to copy this, we're going to paste it in here, and just click save. Um, and I'm going to post this link in the description as well, so you have a reference to it. Uh, once you've done that, you will then have access to the Binance Smart Chain, and you'll see it right here. Just click on that, and um, just exit out of this, and then you'll see your BNB assets if you have BNB in the wallet. Um, over here is your wallet address, so when you want to send BNB to this wallet, you're just going to copy this, and then you know paste it from wherever you're sending uh, BNB from. Right, you're gonna. This is gonna be your two address, right, to, to get your BNB inside here. Once you've done that and you have some BNB in your wallet, you then want to start trading. So uh, we then hop over to PancakeSwap, and the first thing we want to do, I'm gonna disconnect this. This is how PancakeSwap is gonna look for you. Uh, we need to connect the wallet. So if you want to go ahead and, and trade, you know, your, your your token over here, you can't. You know, if you want to buy some Safe Moon or whatever, you can't. You can't buy it because your wallet's not connected. So click Connect Wallet. Click on MetaMask, we just set that up, and it just automatically connected. For you, you might have to um, authorize. Um, uh, MetaMask will ask you, hey, do you want you know, PancakeSwap, and you just allow it, and then uh, it'll connect just like this. You know, it'll show you your balance, and, and there's going to be a two field over here for the token that you want to trade. So for trading you know, something like SafeMoon, you know, we, click, you know, we click on it uh, to import. I understand. Click Continue. And there we go. Now we can trade whatever we want, you know, 0 0.01, like $3, $4 of worth of safe moon or whatever. Um, and that's it. You just click swap and you click confirm swap and it makes a buy. Sometimes these things won't work off the bat because you need to configure the slippage. So you will click on the settings icon over here and you will configure. This is the, the custom slippage. These default slippage um, uh, options don't always work. I, as a matter of fact, most of the time they don't work. So you, you want to start off something small, maybe 12. And if 12% doesn't work, 
then maybe you want to do 15. Uh, slippage is what the amount you're willing to lose in order for your transaction to succeed, right? So maybe you lose 15% of the tokens just so that your transaction can go through. Um, this is very standard in crypto and um, uh, when trading these type of tokens, uh, you'll always need to enter some sort of slippage uh, because uh, your transaction won't, it won't succeed at something less than like 12 or 10%. Um, but that's all there is to it to trade. You know, once, um, once you've done that, you know, if we click swap, I'll give you a small um, example. We're going to confirm this swap. It's going to prompt me and I'm going to click confirm. Once I've done that, it says I've, uh, you know, transaction has been submitted. Now I can add this to my MetaMask. If I want to see this in my MetaMask wallet, then I can just click add safe moon to MetaMask. It'll prompt me again. I click add token, click close. Now if I go into my, um, you see my safe moon balance just got updated, right? The balance was zero. Now it's, you know, two million or whatnot. And if I go on MetaMask now and I go into my assets, I should see somewhere here safe moon. So uh, this is actually the wrong wallet I'm connected to because this is ending in D183. So I'm going to switch wallets. So here we are. Um, so once I've connected to the wallet, once um, you have the right wallet, we should we should have seen Safe Moon over here. Um, we see that you know we just did buy 0 0.01 BNB of it. We don't see it here like the, if you don't see the token you just bought here it's fine don't stress it you still have it in your wallet metamask is just like a graphical user interface to display your assets and your your amount and whatever and whatever but your your wallet is on the blockchain it doesn't matter if you, you access your wallet through the uh, metamask or through trust wallet or through any other wallet um your wallet your wallet address is located it's on the blockchain anytime somebody sends you funds it's going to be there if you don't see it in your wallet that's fine don't stress it out it's there if we click on activity i'll show you a quick way to do it let's click on the activity log we can go ahead and um, just click on details you see it'll take us um, to this transaction hash and if we click on the safe moon contract so you see we swapped four dollars of our bnb for safe moon right we bought two million whatever of safe moon i'm going to click on safe moon and here's the contract for it. So this is the address that you want to add to your MetaMask wallet if you're keen on seeing it inside your wallet. We go back into MetaMask, click on Assets, go down, click on Add Token, and just paste this address in here. Once we do that, click Next, click Add Tokens, and we see finally our Safe Moon popping up over here. So if you get if you run into that bug, don't freak out. You know you, your your stuff is still there. Um, and that's about it. Uh, that's all there is to it, really, to uh, setting up your MetaMask, uh, setting up your uh, pancake swap, connecting and swapping, setting your slippage. Um, very simple. You'll get used to it uh, when you start doing it for random tokens. And, and usually we track these these coins on uh, uh, PooCoin is like the go to charting for like the Binance Smart Chain assets. So when you're trading these tokens, usually you'll be on PooCoin. PooCoin is convenient because we can just connect our wallet to it there's gonna be like a little connect i'm already connected but you know once we connect you know uh, metamask will ask to connect and then it'll show you the assets that you own in poolcoin um this is still loading my safe moon so we can't see it here yet but uh poolcoin shows you everything you own as well um how much of it you own how much it's worth uh, we can see you know we have some random tokens over here that i bought earlier you know how much the balance is worth uh so if you wanted you're looking for the chart for whichever asset you're looking to buy um pool coin is definitely the go-to you can just put the address like we copied from you know here and we click on safe moon and you see that we do have a balance because we just bought some right uh, if you have any questions um drop them in the comment if you'd like to see a video of uh, anything you're uh, not familiar with anything you want to get educated on please drop it in the comment let me know i'll make a video for it uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. I plan on making a lot more videos to help you guys uh, get educated on decentralized exchange and how to trade on them. Um, if there's anything else uh, that I missed that you'd like me to go over, uh, just please just let me know. Uh, hit me up and, um, in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you uh, and um, address those concerns. Uh, thanks again. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.